Preparing for dissection What supplies and equipment do you need? Before starting the dissection, you will first measure, weigh and assign an identification tag to the fish to be dissected. To do that, you'll need the following. A portable ice chest, esky or cooler, filled with ice to hold the fish, a measuring board or a ruler, a relatively precise scale between 1 and 10 gram precision, and identification tags. What's the procedure for measuring, weighing and assigning a code to the fish? Follow these steps. Place the measuring board on the scale and calibrate the scale to zero. Take the fish out of the ice chest and remove as much ice as possible that may be stuck to the fish as it could bias the weight. Place the fish on the measuring board that rests on the scale. Measure the fish from the mouth to the fork of the tail. To do that, close the fish's mouth, aligned at zero, and align the fish to the scale marking. That's it! All you have to do now is to read the measurement at the fork of the tail for fish with a forked tail and at the tip of the tail for others. Some fish in the unicorn fish family have a horn. In this case, do not use it for measurement. Instead, align the mouth with the zero. At this point, the person responsible for completing the biological sampling form enters the name of the species, the weight and size and assigns it an identification tag. Place the tag in a location where it will not be lost, for example, by placing a cable tie in the gills. After the fish has been weighed, measured and tagged, it is ready to be dissected. Tagging do's and don'ts. The identification tags contain a unique reference code, a series of letters and numbers that identifies this individual fish and matches it to the associated measurements and samples. Several tags bearing the same code will be assigned to the fish's fin clip sample and to the muscles, otoliths and gonads. From the moment a sample is removed from the fish, it must always carry its tag. It is very important to take great care in assigning identification tags. If a sample is identified incorrectly, it will be assigned to another fish. The sample will then be associated with a fish of a different size, species and weight than its actual source. When this information is entered into your database, the incorrectly tagged sample will lead to errors in the analysis and there will be no way to know that this has happened. This can bias the results of your study. Are you ready for the next step? Join us for upcoming episodes to learn all about sampling fin clips, muscles and otoliths, extractions and processing gonads.